here and now with uh, Dr. A.B. Weisfeld and myself, Ahmed of Palestine, uh, talking about uh, the genocide uh, in, in Gaza and uh, the latest uh, developments in the Arab East, uh, especially with the Zionist uh, attack or terrorist attack on Damascus, uh, which is uh, on the Iranian consulate in Damascus, which re resulted in murdering about 14 people. Seven of them were uh, Iranian uh, uh, military advisors uh, to Syria. And uh, the Iranian retaliation on the Zionist entity, which uh, involved uh, the imperialist uh, powers uh, carried out by United States, uh, um, France, Britain, and uh, Little Jordan uh, as part of uh, protecting the Zionist entity, of course, in, in, in addition to the Zionist uh, entity's uh, defenses. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's going on? It's, um, it, it's, it seems that uh, what happened, uh, it was a major attack and there's lots of lessons to learn from. Lesson number one, that the Zionists couldn't uh, uh, defend themselves for the second time in recent memory. The first one after uh, October 7th, when all that armada came to the Eastern Mediterranean uh, with, in a show of force by Britain, France, and United States, showing that anybody would dare to support the Palestinian uh, breakthrough of the big ghetto uh, will uh, dealt with. And the second one is uh, on April 13th and, 9th, 13th and 14th, that the night when uh, Iran uh, retaliated as a punishment to the Zionist attack in Damascus. Mm. So here we go. Mm. Mm. Iranians' response, I think, was uh, moderate, actually, considering what would have happened if it was American military advisors, an American general, you know, like sitting there, you know, like in the central military command of the Zionist state, what if they were taken out? <laughs> What would be the it, response it, then? <laughs> it it is it is uh, kind of comical or satiric uh, when David Cameron, the uh, British or UK uh, foreign minister, he was on TV and uh, everybody saw that, and he went on a rampage how bad Iran is and because it attacked poor Israel and they have to defend Israel and. So the, the journalist asked him, what would you do if your consulate or consulate being attacked by anybody else? He said, it will be massive. He said, it will be massive. So it's okay for, for, for UK to respond to anybody attacking the consulate, but it's not okay for Iran to respond to uh, attacking on its sovereign land. Actually, consulates uh, considered as sovereign lands of the country that represent. So basically, uh, the Iranian, they said that we will be replying with, uh, 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 as they say, a slap in the face to the Zionists. Mm. It's not a crippling attack. They were very clear about it. They said, we will respond with a, less, a, less, a, a, a slab and uh, what do you call it? A message. And the message was very loud and clear. Okay. And they really actually attacked the two air bases, the Zionist F-35 that flew from to attack the consulate. Mm. Uh, the reports coming from the Zionist entity that there is these two bases be sustained major damages. And even there's some thoughts about four to six F-35 being destroyed. Each one is about $300 million. Mm -hmm. And they attacked also a very sensitive listening uh, base in the Golan Heights, also being destroyed by the Iranians. So uh, they started with, they say, 99% of the drones and missiles, uh, Crews being downed by the four uh, the four uh, uh, 
air, uh, air forces, uh, the, the British, the French, mm. the American, the Israelis, and Little Jordan. I will say Little <laughs> Jordan because it's very local. Okay, and they needed if they needed a, an Arab uh, participation as a, a fig leaf, you know, they don't want to look like just only Western power in Israel. So they need that fig leaf. So the Jordan was as known. It's uh, it's a surrogate state of the United States, and before that, Britain, and later, uh, Ma'ariv in an Israeli newspaper said, "No, no, it's eighty-four percent being shot down." Okay, and. Uh, <laughs> Sooner or later, we'll see, we'll we'll hear the 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 actual what happened. But they as Zionists, they despite that ninety nine percent, they admitted that uh, uh, two bases being sustained minor damage. Now it's a like moderate damage. Eventually, it'll be a total damage. But anyways, it's not the point. The point is, this is a message. From United St from uh, Iran to the West to unto the Zionist state, that that our long stand of patience called the strategical patience of Iran, it's over, and from now on any attack on our soil or on our interests or assets anywhere will be dealt with force. So. Uh, and uh, so far, the Zionist has not replied, or there were talk about sending some drones yesterday to the city of Asfahan, which is, um, of course, all been, uh, you know, shut down. Even the Western media say it was a very weak response. And what's so funny, the Zionists would not dare say that it was them behind this attack. <laughs> they are so scared from the response because the Iranians said that they will respond this time if there's if they've been attacked again they will respond with heavy-handed if you think that what we sent was uh, little well wait for the next wave if you dare to attack us mm -hmm. so uh, the Zionists are in, in a Pandora box or in dilemma mm -hmm. they're stuck and every and each front they open. They're mm -hmm. stuck in 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 south with South Lebanon. They're stuck in Gaza beside the, the massacres and the, the genocide they, they are telling out in in Gaza. They're stuck with Jordan. I mean sorry, excuse me, uh not Jordan, stuck with Iran. And they are stuck in the West Bank. The West Bank uh uh, the resistance act is spreading everywhere. Uh, all what they do is just uh, the Zionists. Uh, they go in and kill and destroy and just terrorizing people. Like the like yesterday, they went into the town of Tulkarm, and they brought in special machinery to destroy the roads and the mm. infrastructure of Tulkarm. This is terrorism. It has nothing to do with with military work or uh, or confronting the resistance. Going into a main road and digging it up with like blowing it with special uh, D nine is nothing short of a true terror to the people and collective punishment of the Palestinians and Tul Karim for the resistance they carry. In, in the hand of the resistance, resistance fighters. But that will not sway the Palestinians to continue their uprising and resisting the Zionist, the Zionist terror occupation of their land. Mm. That's I it. saw Go. a report you know, from the Hebrew press <laughs> who said that there was nine missiles that hit three uh, Zionist military bases including the base in the Negev, which I think is the launching base, you know, for the planes that go to bomb Gaza. That's so right. very significant. And these were hits made by <clears throat> hypersonic missiles that the Iron Dome cannot uh, stop. So they That's used right. a few of them as an experiment and they were successful. So um, let's uh, start a, a second uh, broadcast today with Steve Struggle, who's coming online in one minute. 
and, no and, and then we will have a, a full uh, 40 minutes, you know, to continue. So uh, okay. we will take a pause for now. Okay.